Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. Is this the final episode? Part 26 of WWE 2K23, My Rise, The Lock. Are we going to get this title shot very, very soon? And are we going to be recruiting more? Um, considering that the Hurt Business and Evolution have joined forces by the look of things. I kind of hope we do. And I'll tell you now, if we do, it will be John Cena and it will be Cody Rhodes. Because that's what ideally, where I wanted to go with it. Let's just have a quick look at the story progress. We've got a few. An almighty offer, a rough around the edge. They were stuff that we could have done beforehand. Okay, we are good to go. Let's do this. Big one out there, but bloody hell. You didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do a Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Sean's. War Games. We've already now been that. in battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Chosen will be the fourth member then. I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I'd have been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate when you reached out asking for help that it was kind of a no brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course <laughs> I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you, too. All right. Let's do this. So for them, it's got to be, unless Slade's not going to enter, it's going to be Orton, Breaker, Omos, then either Slade or uh, someone like Carmelo Hayes, I reckon. Let's, let's see, we'll find out in a moment. Here we go. The following is a mint. are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the war games begin! Every war needs a hero, and you might be looking at him. It's the former lock. Introducing first from Gray's England. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Brandon. 
after everything he's been through, I'm starting to think this man is indestructible. Well, there's nothing like the chaos and carnage of war games to test that theory, Saxton. The armies are all poised for battle. It's time for war. I just saw Bomb Breaker in the background. And chosen. Blade is involved. He's the WWE champion and he's ready for war. It's Slade. And from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE champion, Slade. There's nothing playful about tonight's war games, Corey. It's pure warfare. Especially if you're facing off against Slade and the nightmarish battalion around him. Slade looks primed to continue his career-changing momentum. Here we go. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese Phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. That almost an MVP with Brom Breaker. Shoulder tackle. Jumping oh. stop. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. DDT. Running Swanton finds the mark. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales okay, in their team's favor. On the turnbuckle. Sky high. Cage opens and the strategy now has to be to take charge, play the numbers game to your Here advantage now. Going way up hot from the heavens. Big body splash from the top. And Slade can't find a way off the blocks. Yeah, Slade has He's to plot a way to get back into this. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Uh-oh. Way too oh, oh, much. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Uh-oh. What is going to happen here? Look at this handstand. As the arm bars stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. Climbing up the wall now. No, and he's I didn't got some crazy that. idea in mind from the looks of this. Oh, a huge miss there. He's got the answer for that one. He gets manhandled over into the opposite ring. Oh, oh, and a stop. No, no. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. Hey, are you kidding me? 
Hold on here. What good reason does he have to be climbing up the cage now? Another warrior about to enter the fray, here to balance the scales. Trap the arm. Entering the ring now, hoping to give their squad some relief. He tosses him over and into the other ring. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, oh. target acquired and destroyed. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Ah, bear hugs. Oh, looks like we're going to see it. Selena Del Sol. Is there any life left in Omaha? The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Oh, out the elbows <laughs> and escaping the bear hug. I have no idea. Ah, uh, look at this. The arm absorbing the damage. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. Forearm club. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. A sound suplex. Look at Lesnar. WWE Universe knows he's the most. Time to flip it. Out of the small holding cage to only make way toward the beaches of Normandy. Boom. Numbers advantage or not, he's leaving nothing to chance as he searches under the apron. Bullseye! Under the apron now, looking to stack the odds even higher in their team's favor here. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Oh, man. Kendo stick impact! There we go. No, no, no! Oh. My goodness! <laughs> Adding some extra spice to the numbers advantage by coming in armed to the teeth. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Look out. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Half kick right on point. Oh, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Into the DDT. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Counters that. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Mere seconds away from evening the odds in war games. Omas unprepared here. Face buster! Close fist connects. Omas is in a very vulnerable position here. And it looks like we're going to see him. Oh, he's positioned he up on that turbo. This is enough. strategy even odds weren't good enough and they just added a bit of insurance with that weapon and omas capitalizes there not wasting any time getting through the door and the teams are evened up round and around we go imagine getting that look from omas and deciding you actually want to keep going that is not me boom basement drop kick oh my god a close line He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, my God. Oh, textbook scoop slam. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, God. And he barely evades. One wicked attack after another. Oh, so many dangerous attacks from the heavens. Splash from the top. Oh, double boom. Combination double DDT. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Holding cages open and away they go, ready to get into the action. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. He's already bringing the numbers advantage, but he wants something more. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Oh, disturbing impact. Into the corner. This can't be good. Slips out of the way. A running swanton. 
as if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Oh, he counters right back on Slade. Hooked up, and DDT! The running senton! Crushing impact. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all from the top. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And it is getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. Boom! Going up the cage now must have some sort of strategy in mind. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. A running hurricane runner. Mm. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. gash on the face of Omos now, guys. And with his coming entrant, the teams will officially be even done. From the middle rope right into a bulldog. Here we go. They look ready to get in there and even things up a little. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. I can't begin to. Un it looks like we're gonna see it. Selena Del Sol. Will that stop MVP? We got it. team of mercenaries has survived and their leader has now earned the right to choose his SummerSlam stipulation. The former lock still faces long odds but I guarantee he will take whatever advantage he can get. Yeah these two teams gave it everything they had and then some but in the end only one team could stand tall as the victor of war games. Wow, what a mess that was. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. To uh, to Salida Del Souls, to MVP, got the job done. Quite bad as he was the last man into the match as well. We now get to pick the stipulation. Daddy Sean. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking you should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean, a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, if you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. Sorry to cost you some money, but I want you out there. You're the one who helped me start this comeback journey, and now you're going to help me finish it. I'm happy you chose me. Mostly. Don't worry. If I win, I'll make it up to you with a big celebration. And if I lose, well, we'll probably end up at a bar, too. Deal.
The documentaries continue. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance of redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that. But maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. I wanted to choose British rules, but obviously being a high flyer, I need to do some high flying moves. So extreme rules it is. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, the Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. Interesting. What could that mean? No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over. And now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, 
You overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, 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 he, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game planned to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. Well, um, they changed the story, that's for certain. I suppose it had to be Slade or Orton, I suppose, if you look at the whole line of the story of Evolution. I still didn't expect that to have happened, especially for him to lay down. It's very WCW-esque from back in the day. What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one-on-one. -on -one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. It's on and it's now. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? 
No. <laughs> oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special that can't be taught, as separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. This is it. Is this 26 episodes worth for this final moment? We're about to find out. Just in case it's not, this will be the final match of the episode, whatever happens. If there's anything left, there will be another episode, which will be number 27. We'll see what happens. It's been a fun journey, whatever the case. Definitely better than last year's um, My Rise. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's the man who's here to beat the deadline. Only Randy Orton stands between the former lock and the WWE yeah, Championship well. he's we wanted for so long. Don't forget Shawn Michaels, Saxton. He's got just as much to lose as anybody. Nobody's got more to lose than the challenger, Corey. This could be his final match in WWE. It's one of the greatest to ever lace them up. WWE Champion, Randy Orton. Is Slade going to help me win the title? Nobody loves the big stage more than the Viper, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. No, it doesn't. There's a reason Randy Orton will go down as one of the best to ever do it, especially if he adds one more SummerSlam victory to his resume tonight. It's time for a new chapter in WWE, but only one of these larger-than-life superstars will write it. Ring that bell. Introducing the challenger from Gray's England, weighing in at 215 pounds, Brandon. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is 
the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. Oh, here we go. Will I run and will I die and miss the again? The road to SummerSlam has all led to this. One of the most anticipated Whoa, matches wow. in WWE history for the WWE Champion. Champ looking to end this. It only gets a one count. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Oh. Strike. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. Hooked up. I've got to remember me combos. I really have. Light. Oh. Oh, nice. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. He's positioning himself, closing in. Big kick. He's turning the tables. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Had the Viper scouted. Back elbow. Jeez, did you see that? Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. The champ getting put to the test here. Running Swanton finds the mark. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. And this match will head back to the ring. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh! Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Uh-oh. Nice. Orton gets the better there. He leaves the ring. Light strike. There's no countouts in this I one. A minute ago, but... The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Orton getting worked on right now. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. Into the ring now. Orton ducks the strike. And he counters with the headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Sean gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop toe hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one on one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. RKO on Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten I over did so. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger. But it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and around. Into the DDT. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. Orton with great ring awareness. Rapid fire right hands. Oh, blocked it. And finds a counter. He's got him in the crosshairs. He okay, he already we get it. Stop he... looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He steps foot in the ring again. Placing them into the corner. 
it to the top. Is there not a safer option here? Look out! Avalanche Bulldog! Good night! The Viper getting measured. It looks like we're gonna see it! Selena Del Sol! Did you see We could have a new champion! Two! He did it! Not only is he the new WWE champion, but he beat the deadline and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over, you lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect from Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one. No one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn. The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is. It's official. We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. And I'll just have to hit continue. Surely this is going to go straight into a match, isn't it? Buckle up, yep. everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included, could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. What a barrage of stomps. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. No, cross body, whoa. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is... Sammy Zay, take down. The coaching clutch. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of... How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Quick return to the ring. The ropes. Oh, look at this agility. Grab combo. Shifts it back onto him. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Big kick. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Ridiculous standing shooting star. The challenger eating up some damage. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Huluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Huluva kick. With the roll up. That will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash-in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the Champions faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known he may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate.
He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Well, we got the Slade part right. And I always knew Sammy was going to get involved at some point. I just didn't think it was going to be like that. Very, very good. Very well done by uh, 2K in the respect. Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long. But even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they forced their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again? And the job is done. You've completed the Lock My Rise story. You can replay and make different choices to experience alternative outcomes. Play optional content you may have skipped, or go and play the Legacy story if you haven't already. You can also export your My Rise character to use in other WWE 2K23 modes. We have um, unlocked the RKO tights, the My Rise SummerSlam Arena, and the My Rise War Games Arena. 26 episodes smashed through. One a week or here on YouTube. We are finally done and complete. we still got the legacy to go. Who knows how many episodes will be there. But for the lock, that is all from us. So please give us a like. Please subscribe. Turn your bells on to be notified when other videos go live. And uh, that will do for us for um, Mondays, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays with the lock. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day.